welcome back to my channel and this is a special treat for those of you who have been suffering from scooter video withdrawal here is a little reprieve for you uh, it's not exactly what I had in mind a uh, little trouble in paradise here uh, so if you come over here uh, I'll show you what the scooter looks like now um, so here's the neck of the scooter uh, over here on this side and then here is the something called a head tube and the reason I took the whole front assembly apart is because so let me take this here so this is the the front uh, suspension assembly and so it's supposed to go in like this so what was happening was the the taper the tapered bearing so there's one taper bearing up here I can show you so this is what the taper bearing looks like and it went in there like that and the problem with these are uh, they're they're really cheap and they weren't sitting stable and still in place so what was happening was this this assembly here this so this is like a, a threaded rod or a pipe it's pretty thick but what was happening was because the bearing was loose it was causing this kind of motion forward and backwards the the way that it's designed is this is only supposed to have one degree of freedom which is to rotate uh, with respect to the the head tube itself so just rotate like that so I can steer my wheel but what was happening was like I, I showed you earlier it was rocking forward and backwards to the point where the back of the swing arm I had was hitting here and so initially what I did was I just shaved down part of it here so it was grounded with an angle grinder hoping that that would solve the the clearance issue or the uh, the collision issue I wanted to make make a clearance there but it was it gradually got worse and worse and eventually I, I figured I'm gonna have to replace these tapered bearings and I did some measurements with my calipers so the inner diameter is 30 millimeters outer diameter is 47 millimeters and the width is 12 millimeters so based on my my uh, layperson caliper measurements I ordered, I placed an order on Amazon and the bearings are supposed to get here by next week and I'll, I'll see if they're the right fit. Uh, most likely they're going to be the right fit and then I'm going to reassemble everything on. So you can imagine here, so I got a bearing down here, bearing down here, this goes down here. The wheels attach here and then here's where the brake calipers go and on top there's this block that holds this whole assembly together. So, I'll show you the the reassembly on the next video, but I'm just showing you um, what it currently looks like at the moment after everything's been disassembled. And so, if you do plan on ordering a scooter like this, and initially I thought only the brand Torso, Torso offered this kind of scooter, but if you go on the internet, Alibaba, AliExpress, there's something called Yumi and a few other brands that offer the same exact scooter. And definitely this here, the steering tapered bearing is a very, very weak link. They they really cheaped out on this. I I wish that they would have spent a little bit more money, gotten uh, make a European or high quality brand and and made the overall cost of the scooter a little bit more expensive but um, make it so that we as the the end user consumer wouldn't have to go through all this trouble I wish that they had done that just just get better better more expensive parts and just charge us more from the beginning but that's not how they do it in China so they they just source the cheapest parts like uh, I know the the suspension uh, dampener uh, the shock absorber is really cheap too so yeah I mean the battery is okay, the motor is good, it's still running, uh, the controller, electronics is good, 
but some of the mechanic mechanical parts on this thing is uh, it's kind of uh, compromised in, in in quality like this this bearing here so it is what it is if you're gonna pay two thousand dollars for a scooter that do a Tron or some other um, like Ryan some uh, some other more what do you call it um, established brands would charge and you pay only two thousand dollars you gotta expect there's gotta be some weak links on here so